In 2005, Aaron Heath and Terry Housen combined the Penguin and Seal Island Eco Tours and the Wild Dolphin Swimming Tours to form Rockingham Wild Encounters. Based in the Shoalwater Island Marine Park, their business operates the ferry services to Penguin Island, as well as a number of successful tours, including swimming with wild dolphins, marine park tours and glass bottom boat cruises. The business also encompasses the operation of the gift shop and cafe at Mersey Point, the departure point to Penguin Island. Part of their business's long-standing success is attributed to their use of a variety of refined and monitored marketing strategies. This has included the use of media such as flyers, press releases, website and social media, while complementing this with an emphasis on quality photography and online video. They've also made use of some often overlooked exposure opportunities, including community group and charity sponsorship, and also taking advantage of their regional tourism organisation's promotional opportunities. When we first started up, uh, it'd be 23 years ago now, uh, obviously, marketing dollars were really tight, so we had to be very careful about how we chose to try and attract business. So, uh, I guess the, the key basics were our brochure, which is distributed throughout all the hotels in Perth and, and other sort of key tourist destinations. We actually use two brochure distribution companies. We try and uh, get that exposed throughout as, as much of Perth as possible. We see that as one of the key ways of attracting business because at the end of the day um, it's getting to tourists that are already here looking for things to do. Recently, uh, the last few years, we've actually upgraded the size of the brochure. We used to go with a DL and now we've gone to uh, an A4 size brochure. Um, the idea being is just to, just to try and catch people's attention and the bigger size and the nice bold pictures on the front um, really do that well. we found over the years to, to try and keep them uh, as simple as possible um, because especially these days people um, tend to not read all the information that you can cram in there so we really need to concentrate about you know, putting the, uh, the key points together that are going to um, make the, the tourists interested in actually coming in and experiencing the attractions for themselves. We have had professional photos taken in the past and uh, we've been lucky enough to have some support from our regional tourist organisation Experience Perth um, to, to assist with that. There's also been instances in the past where um, PWA have also in, assisted with um, images. but. Um, We've also been lucky in the past in terms of we get a lot of uh, media uh, for Mills um, who come and, and take photos of experience so we've managed to get a lot of good free photos that way and uh, we've also encouraged uh, any of our visitors who have uh, taken good photos of, of our cruises or the wildlife to send them in to us and we've been lucky enough to have the use of those as well. We highly recommend uh, working with your regional tourism organisation. Um, they're probably the, the best support that you can, um, that you can get, basically. Um, they're always doing marketing initiatives for your, for your region. So things like um, attending trade shows, send out newsletters um, by email, uh, just, yeah, they, they organise trade for mills, um, media for mills. Um, they've all got all sorts of marketing initiatives. So basically anything that they're doing, um, that's in terms of Experience Perth, our regional tourism organisation, um, we'll always look at it and I'd say probably 90% 90, 90 of the time we'll, um, we'll go on board. Probably the most, most recent one which we've been focusing on a lot lately is Facebook. We try and encourage people to actually um, sp spread the word about what they've done by um, a prime example is on our Swim with Wild Dolphins tour. Throughout the tour we'll actually take photographs of uh, the customers enjoying their experience. And then at the end of the cruise, we get their email addresses. We send them a thank you email. Um, those images which we've taken during the day are uploaded to Flickr. And we send them a link to where they can view their images of the day. We make it easy for them to then share those images and hopefully their positive reviews with all their friends on Facebook. 
Um, yeah, media releases have, have been a really important um, part of marketing for us. They're great because it's, it's basically free advertising and uh, from what I understand, people um, reading newspapers and such these days are more interested in reading the articles than, than actually paid advertising. Uh, the important thing is to actually um, have something worth listening to. Um, we always try and uh, put a really good image because uh, people are a lot more visual these days so they're reading less and they're, they're looking at more so if you can draw them um, in with a really good picture then they're more likely to actually have a read of the article to see what you've got to say. Um, we quite often um, work with charities so uh, we find that's a, a really effective way of, of actually getting your media releases published um, by uh, rather than just directly telling stories about yourself and trying to push your own product just by being um, associated with supporting worthwhile causes um, yeah you, it's, it's a good way to get your name out there another strategy we use to, to try and keep our marketing costs uh, down a little is to actually try and um, try and provide free seats on our cruises where possible um, we get a, a heap of requests from uh, social organisations, community groups, schools um, wanting uh, donations to support uh, quiz nights and different prizes and we found by providing um, free tickets uh, you basically get your, your name mentioned at the, the quiz night or whatever whatever the uh, event is. Um, quite often they'll help distribute your brochure which is really important and uh, eventually whoever wins your, your prize um, will actually come down experience the product for themselves. Quite often they bring extra people with them which is new business. Um, once they're here on site they might come in, buy something from the gift shop, um, have something to eat at the cafe. So even though you're giving away a free seat to start with, um, it, it tends to, to work in your favour. Measuring the success of, uh, of our marketing is really important. Um, we need to, to obviously know if what we're doing is effective. Every uh, booking that we get, whether it comes in over the phone or comes online through our, our booking system, uh, we ask them how they found out about us. Our websites become the most important marketing tool for our business. Um, our research shows that over 33% of our bookings come directly through people finding us on the web. Um, so we've done a lot of work uh, on our site to make sure that uh, it ranks high, highly on all the uh, search engines. I think it's really important to keep your, your website fairly simple. Making sure you have plenty of, of pictures and also video content is really important these days. Because people are, are so much more um, audio-visual, um, it's, it's important that they can press a button and actually see what they're going to experience in front of them. I think it's a, a, a really important factor in them making a decision as to whether they're going to visit your attraction or somebody else's. Um, and also being on YouTube is also going to push up your rankings and search engines and, and the like.